Friends, you must have come across various names in your daily life like Mr. Muscle, Bang, Surf Excel, Colleen, Dettol, Harpic, etc. These are the common examples of cleaning agents that we use at home. So if I am to define cleaning agents in simple words, then cleaning agents are the substance which assist in cleaning process. Most of the cleaning agents are used for removing dirt, dust, stain or grime deposited on different surfaces. But these are also used for removing offensive odor, killing bacteria, stopping or avoiding the spread of contaminants to oneself and others. Also you will find cleaning agents in different forms in the market such as in liquid form, powder, spray or granules form. So in this video we will cover different types of cleaning agents used in hotel housekeeping. First cleaning agent is water. The most widely and commonly used cleaning agent. You use it for washing or mopping floors, surfaces cleaning, car cleaning, clothes washing or cleaning, utensil cleaning etc. It is also used as solvent for mixing or diluting other cleaning agent. Now there is a question for you. Which is the cheapest cleaning agent? Well I think now you know the answer. Next is detergent and soap. Who doesn't know about bathing soap and washing detergent? Well we don't go in the science of soap and detergent walking. In simple term, these are the substance when dissolved in water, create some form and possess the ability to remove dirt from surfaces such as human skin, linen, textile and other surfaces. If you are interested in how detergent and soap are made and how they work, comment down below. There are variety of brands available in the market for soap and detergent. Next we have Acetic Cleaners and Alkaline Cleaners Simply, pH scale is used to identify the acetic and alkaline solutions. On a pH scale of 0 to 14, a pH value below 7 is considered acetic and any value over 7 is considered alkaline in nature. If pH value is 7, it's considered neutral. Firstly, let's discuss about acetic cleaners. Acids can remove tarnish and hard water deposits from surfaces and can also use to neutralize alkalis. Mild acidic cleaners have less acidic strength and used for minor cleaning like hard water deposits and mild rust stains etc. For example, lemon juice which contains citric acid can remove stains and adhesive from stainless steel. It can also cut grease, kill bacteria, countertop and table cleaning can also be done. It can also descale taps and shower doors. Second example is vinegar which has acetic acid. Also effectively cleans kitchen countertops, stove tops and other appliances. Strong acid cleaners are used on tougher stains and usually used at commercial level. You won't find them as accessible as our lemon juice. For example, you can use oxalic acid for removing old iron rust found on plumbing pipes and kitchen countertops. A weaker solution of oxalic acid will remove rust stains from sinks and tubs also. Also, you may find strong acidic cleaners in toilet bowl cleaners such as hydrochloric acid, muriatic acid, sulfuric acid, etc. These acidic cleaners can remove hard water, iron deposits and even organic matter. Even for swimming pool dark stains that adhere to the grout in between the tiles you can use muriatic acid. When the safer alternative fails to clean matter, we can use strong hydrochloric acid solution. But remember, these strong acidic solutions are extremely powerful 
and only experienced person should be allowed to access the solution. Now let's come to alkaline cleaners. Obviously, you can use these to neutralize any acidic content. In alkaline, two of the most common examples are washing soda and caustic soda. Washing soda, in scientific term known as sodium carbonate, is used to soften water and remove light grease marks. Mostly used in washing machines for cleaning clothes. Caustic soda, also known as sodium hydroxide, is used in removing grease from grills and block drains. You can use it anywhere where you face issue with fats and oil like cooking oil, animal fat, oven grease, etc. In alkaline cleaner, one more famous example is bleach. In scientific term known as sodium hypochlorite, which is used for whitening and removing stains from soft and hard surfaces. Well guys, that's all for acid and alkaline cleaners. Let's move to the next cleaning agent. Solvent cleaners or organic solvent. Organic solvents are widely used for dry cleaning and stain removal in hotel industry. Also great for grease removal and evaporate in the air quickly. Hence can also be used for cleaning windows, mirrors, picture frames, etc. These are also used on the surfaces which may be harmed by the water. Some of the examples of organic solvents such as methylated spirit, kerosene, turpentine, white spirit, carbon tetrachloride, etc. Carbon tetrachloride is harmful if inhaled and the rest others are highly inflammable. So never use these in an enclosed environment. Next we have disinfectant and deodorants. These are strictly not a cleaning agent but often used during cleaning operation. Disinfectants are used to kill microbes or bacteria and hence help in microbial or germ control, for example, Lysol and Detol. On the other hand, deodorants or deodorizers are used to eliminate any offensive odor or smell. Freshwear provide many solutions for hotels such as room spray, air freshener, nowadays also available such as carpet or upholstery additives, dry vapor system, gel, wall mounted units etc. I'll give the link of this brand below and also this is not a sponsored video. Laundry agents or aids. Laundry aids are used to improve laundering result with the help of some chemicals such as bleach, optical whitener or these are used to achieve some specific functions or effects such as Soaking, stain removers, softeners, stiffeners, etc. Some of the common laundry agents are water, laundry soap and detergent, stiffener, acid and alkaline agents, bleach, organic solvent absorbents, etc. It's not possible to explain all these here. If you want a separate video, comment down below. Policies Polices are used to make a surface smooth and shiny by rubbing it. Polices also create a thin protective layer over the hard surface and smooth out any unevenness on the surface. Polices are used on different kind of hard surfaces, for example, wood or furniture polish or maintainer. Some brand examples are on your screen. Metal polish such as Brasso used for brass, copper, chrome, stainless steel. Silvo for silver, gold, aluminium, chrome. Floor polish that is used for different kind of floor. Place high sign of Fisk Johnson company for all type of floor. Alex floor sign for marble, laminate, limestone, sandstone, ceramic tiles, PVC, etc. Leather polish. As the name suggests, it is used for leather. Kiwi and Cherry are two famous brands for it. Next we have abrasives. To understand it in simple words, when we rub two objects, 
The object that caused the other object to be worn out is the abrasive. For example, we use sandstone for creating nice smooth finish by removing imperfection, emery board or nail file to smooth your nails, honing or sharpening stone that we use to sharpen our knives in kitchen are some examples of abrasives. Next we have floor sealers and finisher. Floor sealant or sealer is a kind of chemical solution which is applied to various types of floor covering material to protect them against any stains and damage. Chemical is soaked into the pores of the surface, clogging them so that the staining agent can't get down into them. Sealing up the pores and removing the dirt also increase the traction on the floor, making it safer as well. Sometimes people get confused between floor sealer and finisher. After you seal the pores with the help of sealer chemical, then you apply finisher. It creates an invisible protective layer and generates shine. Floor finisher is primarily made up of polymer, wax, solvent, plasticizer or surfactants. There are some products in the market which works for both. They also seals the floor and also works as a finisher. After applying the finisher, the sign is not going to retain there forever. So after some time floor finish is worn out or you need to refloor that area. Then you need to strip the floor finish without damaging the floor. For that you require floor strippers. It literally strips floor finish from the floor, which often involves removing layers and layers of wax. It is one of the labor intensive and time consuming job. For floor stripping, we use some hazardous and powerful chemicals. Next we have glass cleaner, as the name suggests, used to clean glass and mirrors. It keeps them free from dirt and crime. Most common glass cleaner that you see at your home is Colin. In hotel we use R3. Next we have toilet cleaner. These chemical solutions are specifically made for cleaning a toilet bowl and we usually use this in conjunction with a toilet brush. For example, Harpic, Tasky R6, etc. For more detail on Tasky R series chemicals, check i button above and link is also in the description below. In the end, we have carpet cleaner. Carpet cleaners are designed to remove deeply emptied dirt and stains in the carpet. You will find different type of carpet shampoo in the market. Well guys, that's all about housekeeping cleaning agents. I hope you like this video, if you do hit like button, for any doubt or suggestion comment down below and don't forget to subscribe Hospitality Broadcast. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.